So, it's been two years, has it? Yeah, yeah it has. And that is kind of mind-blowing, really. Seems like just yesterday I was recording the one-year anniversary video. I guess time does fly when you're having fun, huh? So, I'm not really sure what to say here, but I thought maybe I'd just take a few minutes and reflect upon the past year, what's currently going on with the channel, and hopefully what we can accomplish in the future. So, starting off, the channel really hasn't grown as much in the last year as I wish it would have, and I recognize that's entirely on me. I mean, we've had multiple occasions where gone entire month without a single video being uploaded, and that's entirely my fault. I take full responsibility for that. There's just so much going on. It seems like immediately after I made the one year anniversary video last year, things just got so hectic. And I mean, I can make excuses all day, like my recording time was already limited, and then this last year's been kind of chaotic. But yeah, ultimately it comes down to me. Ultimately I just didn't sit down and make a video. And that's, that's pretty much it. I'm the only person that works on this channel, so the buck stops with me. And the blame rests with me. But let's move on to some happier times. As you may have noticed in recent weeks, there's a, been a bit of a content explosion. Yeah, things have finally kind of come around to where I'm in a position to where I can dedicate more to the channel. My recording time isn't so limited. Like right now we have so much going on. We have the Let's Play for Dishonored, which has been interesting so far. Not exactly what I'd call masterful play, but it seems to be entertaining. It's getting some views, so people seem to Seem to be enjoying it. We also have the Final Fantasy V Fiesta going on. That's loads of fun. As anyone who knows me knows, I'm a huge Final Fantasy fan. So finally being able to do something like that for the channel, while also trying to benefit a charity, that's just awesome. It's also really cool that Final Fantasy V is one of the games I haven't finished. So this gives me a reason to do so, as it just kind of lines up. Is like I was literally firing up my copy of the game on the PS1 to play through it. And then I found out about the Fiesta, so I was like, oh, well, that's awfully convenient. Why not make this a little more interesting, get some content out of it, and hopefully benefit a good cause. So that's been loads of fun. Now I just gotta hope I can actually finish it before the September 1st deadline. JRPGs. They love to draw out. Uh, also, we've had... Tavern Brawl Thursday start, which I am so happy about. I've been wanting to do something for Hearthstone for so long, but there wasn't a format that made sense for me. Like, I don't put enough effort into the ladder to get to a high rank, so you're not going to see any high-end ranked gameplay from me. I just don't want to put that much time into the game. Then Arena is extremely fun, and I love it, but recording an entire Arena run is a bit more drawn out than what I'm willing to do. Now that could take anywhere from 12 to, well, anywhere from 3 to 14 games. So yeah, that's, that's a little more than I'm willing to, willing to commit. But then here comes Tavern Brawl. This small dose of chaos every week that is just super fun. Can't thank Blizzard enough for that. That is awesome. Love that. Also, we've started the Eric Recommends series, which is, it's interesting. So basically, I'm trying to go through my Steam Curator list that I put together, and finding games you may or may not have heard of, or anything like that, and just giving them a little bit of spotlight and hoping maybe you guys will give them a chance. At the same time, I don't think I can do that for every game on the Curator list, because I mean, well really, the list is just a list of good games, in all honesty, so what can I really say about a game like, say, Grand Theft Auto V, that hasn't already been said. Everyone knows it's a good game. Pretty much anybody that had any interest in it has already picked it up. So I'd rather draw attention to smaller games like, like One Finger Death Punch, like Bleed. And I've got a few others kind of in the pipeline that I'm working on or considering. But yeah, that's a, that's an interesting series. We've still got the 
channel staple of the Shadow Era community classics. Uh, admittedly, it seems to have hit a little bit of a slump. There should have been an episode come out earlier today, so it's still a thing, guys. Feel free to keep submitting games. It's not stopping. As I've said before, it's a, it's a show that lives or dies with the community. As long as there's games coming in, there's episodes coming out. So get them games in if you want more Shadow Era. Yeah, that pretty much sums up what's going on for current content. For the future, I'm hoping I can finally maintain this five-day-a-week schedule. Because thanks to some recent equipment that I've acquired and some rearranging of the setup, I've been able to drastically increase the amount of time I can record in a given day. For example, before I could only record after midnight. If I wasn't able to be on after midnight, there wasn't any recording getting done. Right now, my only real obstacle still is that I live next to a road, so there's a lot of very large coal and gravel trucks going by throughout the day. Thankfully, I've been able to mitigate that about as much as I'm going to be able to. I mean, you can still hear them, but I've done everything I can short of moving, and that's not an option. So, yeah, so that's just a little bit of pain we're going to have to deal with if we want to keep the actual content level going. But it's finally a realistic goal, and because of that, I can finally fully commit. It's not an issue of, well, I can record while I'm half asleep and do a subpar video, or I can actually record during the day now and put out some pretty good stuff. And I feel like the overall quality of the channel has increased recently as well. But yeah, and here we are, two years in. Let's keep on going, shall we? With this recent kind of full commitment that I'm able to do now, hopefully the channel will start growing consistently again, because I'm not going anywhere now if I can help it. As long as I can make videos, I'm making videos. As long as you guys are watching videos, I'll be making videos. And with that, I just want to thank you guys for watching, and let's meet back here again next year.